Now you are aware about electronic configuration, especially SPDF level electronic configuration. On basis of that, we are starting out a chapter that is very, very important. This is considered in inorganic chemistry, but very useful for organic chemistry also. The name of chapter is chemical bonding. So let us start the chapter chemical bonding. What is the meaning of chemical bond? Say for example, one atom is here and one atom is here. Can we say that there is chemical bond between these two atoms? Answer is obviously no. In order to get chemical bond, these two atoms must be slow, so close to each other that there should be overlapping of their orbital. Now these views are modern view. In old days, they were considered different aspects. The first aspect that is called as electronic theory of balance. On basis of that, the rule is there. That rule is called as octet rule. Octet means eight number. Octet rule states that every element try to complete eight electron in last shell, either by donating or by accepting or by sharing out electron. Now, this rule is modified because helium-like atoms are there. They are not able to finish out their octet. So we have to finish out their duplet. That means two electrons in last shell. And so this rule is modified. I am revising this rule again. According to octet rule, every element tries to finish or tries to attend nearest inert gas configuration. This rule is called as octet rule. In what way it tries to complete nearest inert gas configuration? Either by accepting or by donating or by sharing out electron. Now, let us discuss on basis of this octet rule certain theories. The first type of bond according to octet rule, that bond is called as ionic bond. The technical name is electrovalent bond. But simply we are calling it as ionic bond. So let us discuss. Now let us discuss electronic theory of valency. On basis of that, different types of bond we have to discuss. The first bond we are going to study, that is called as ionic bond. The technical name is electrovalent bond. Let us discuss this electrovalent bond. For that purpose, we are considering two different atoms. The first atom, that is sodium, atomic number 11. The electronic configuration is 2, 8, 1. The second atom we have to consider that is chlorine. Atomic number is 17. That means 17 electrons are there. Please keep in mind, atomic number means number of protons present in any atom. But in atom, number of proton is exactly equal to number of electron. Therefore, we are considering 11 electrons are there. So, electronic configuration is 2, 8, 1. Here, electronic configuration is 2, 8, 7. Now, what octet rule states? I have to revise again. According to octet rule, every element tries to complete or tries to attend nearest inert gas configuration by accepting, donating or sharing out of electron. Now, here, the nearest inert gas for sodium, that should be neon, atomic number 10. Whereas for chlorine, the nearest inert gas is argon, atomic number is 18. So 17, 18, 11 and 10, so quite close to each other. Electronic configuration is 2, 8, whereas here, electronic configuration is 2, 8, 8. That means, in order to attend configuration of neon, sodium is having extra electron. Whereas, in order to attend configuration of argon, chlorine is having one electron shot. Now, simple thing that sodium donates electron and chlorine accepts electron. Then only sodium can attend electronic configuration of neon and chlorine can attend electronic configuration of argon. Now, what is the problem? There are 11 protons in sodium. You are aware one proton carries plus one charge. So 11 proton will carry 11 plus 11 charge. 
In earlier atom, the sodium, it is having 11 electrons. So, one electron is having minus one charge, 11 electrons will have minus 11 charge. The net charge, that is plus 11 and minus 11 is zero. That means, sodium atom is electrically neutral. But, now see in next part. In any atom, number of protons should remain same. The constant number that is only number of proton. So 11 protons are as it is in sodium. But one electron is donated by sodium to chlorine. What is the result of that? Number of electrons to 8. So that is 10. So this will be minus 10. If you add out, you are getting charge as plus 1. Now by our definition, atom should not have any charge. But here, you are able to observe practically atom is having charge. The charge in atom is called as an ion. So, henceforth, I have to say this is sodium ion, whereas this is sodium atom. What is the difference between atom and ion? Atom is not having any charge, whereas ion is having charge, either positive or negative, but charge must be there. This way, sodium attains plus one charge. Now let us talk of chlorine. There are 17 protons in chlorine. What is the result of that? Plus 17 charge. Same way, the 17 electrons addition will get zero. So this is chlorine atom. Now, after accepting electron, chlorine is having 288 configuration. That means net 18 electrons are there. So minus charge or negative charge is now become minus 18. The result, net charge, that means addition, you are getting here minus 1. So you are aware we are not able to call this as an atom, so we have to call this as an ion. So consequence is that two ions are produced. So when sodium and chlorine, they are interacting each other, sodium donates electron to chlorine, Chlorine accepts electron from sodium. Sodium get developed positive charge as plus one. Chlorine get developed negative charge as minus one. Now this is sodium atom having plus one charge and chlorine atom having minus one charge. Am I right? No. This is sodium ion and this is chloride ion. Now this is minus charge and this is plus charge. What is the result of that? There is attraction between unlike charges and this attraction is called as electromagnetic attraction or electrostatic attraction between these two ions, these two charged particles and therefore we are calling this attractive force as ionic bond or electrovalent bond. So, Sodium get developed into positively charged ion, chlorine get developed into negatively charged ion and what is the result of that? They are having positive negative that means opposite charges. The result is that there is attraction between opposite charges and we are having the bond formation. This is called as ionic bond. Oppositely charged ions are bound together so that this is called as ionic charge. So this is one example of ionic charge. You can same way trace out another example also that potassium having atomic number 19 and fluorine having atomic number 9. You can go by the same method and you will try yourself that what is the result of that in what way bond is formed. This is about practical transfer of electron from one atom to another atom. The bond is called as electrovalent bond. Now, Every time situation is not so. Let us take example of oxygen atom. We are denoting oxygen atom as O2. Actually we should call it as molecule. Instead of oxygen atom, we are now calling as molecule. This is called as diatomic molecule. Now this oxygen is having atomic number 8. The electronic configuration is 2, 6. Now, the nearest inert gas that should be 
अगेन नियोन एटॉमिक नंबर टेन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन टू एट यू कैन ऑब्जर्व हियर सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड एट इलेक्ट्रॉन दैट मीन्स ऑक्सीजन